Hello there everybody, this is Ira and I am back yet again with another brand new indie game. This one is coming out today, as a matter of fact, 2nd of September 2019, uh, and it is called Mostly Intense Monster Defense. Like the title, it is by Patsui Games. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Patsui Games. Uh, I do want to give a little, quick little shout out to the developer who contacted me directly and uh, specifically asked me to review this game for its launch, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm, I'm pretty, we got a pretty small channel over here, and it's just really nice when a developer reaches out like that, and you know, this is a good, good warm fuzzy feeling, so I hope that you folks are gonna enjoy this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is jump into the options and just see what we have as options. This is a first look, by the way, I haven't played this yet, so we've got resolution, full screen, independent sound effects and music, oh, and we have an accessibility option, reduce flashing lights, I'm gonna turn that on just because I know I and, and I have trouble with flashing lights. So the fact that that is even an option, I'm just automatically gonna turn that on. Um, that's very cool. By the way, before we get into this, before we get uh, uh, too deep in and I forget, the developer has also provided me, my friends, with some keys for the game to give away. So if by the end of this video you decide that you really wanna try this game out and you wanna try your luck at a, a free copy of the game, just leave a comment down below in the description of the video down down there. I can't I can't move the cursor down there because I'm bound by the uh, the edges of the video here. Uh, but leave a comment down there. Let me know that you're interested in uh, in a copy of the game. And uh, let's say uh, say something nice about someone in your life. You know, just just pick a person, someone in your life who uh, who who is. Is, is good and has a good influence on you and just just pay them a compliment right there right in the comments just 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 say something nice. That's all you got to do and you'll enter to win a free copy of the game uh, Let's also take a quick look at the credits. It's just one screen here. So it's uh, Patrick M Milvey is that a V? Oh the the pixel art Pixel art pixel font. Oh goodness folks. I haven't recorded in too long. <laughs> Does it show? <laughs> it's tough to read. I think that's uh, Patsui Patsui games um, and we've got pixel art, programming, audio, game design, all by this one person. We've got uh, an illustrations person, we've got a music- I love this music, by the way. This music is cool. I've been sitting here for a few moments before starting to record, just, just kind of grooving in the music a little bit. Like it? Um, okay, very nice. Let's jump in. Let's try story mode, because that's presumably the, uh, the main game mode. This is, by the way, this is uh, apparently inspired by Plants vs. Zombies, so similar gameplay to Plants vs. Zombies. So if you liked Plants vs. Zombies, but you've been finished with it for years, because it's, it's been a little while since Plants vs. Zombies came out, uh, this might scratch that itch for you. So let's take a look and see how it is. Spidey with a hat. Oh, hello, Spidey with a hat. Ah, uh, there you are. You must be our new monster defense commander. Well, apparently so. They told me they'd be, they'd be sending me some fresh blood after the latest commander was torn to pieces by a bloodthirsty barbarian. Really? <laughs> Where did you come from? I must have missed you while I was inspecting the bridge. Well, anyways, let me introduce myself. I am Stanley Muskiewet. I like it. A feared and infamous dread summoner known by all who aren't ignorant or jealous of my skills. Hmm. Well, I, I would think you'd be known by people who are jealous of your skills as well. Otherwise, they wouldn't have the capacity to be jealous. Anyway, like you, I am here to defend the mother hole, which our monster kin, in which our monster kin live and prosper. I will act as your summoner. You tell me where you want troops, and I will summon them there. Together we will defend our dungeon from the evil humans. Oh, I love when you get to be the evil ones. Oh, it's Dungeon Keeper 2 all over again. Uh, now let me show you the ropes. Well, Dungeon Keeper 1 as well, but I'm also playing Dungeon Keeper 2. Okay, so we have a tutorial. That's great. Click on the Altar of Dread button to select it. Got it. Summon it to the battlefield by clicking on the specific square I prepared for you. Got it. Boom. Excellent, the altar will generate dread that you use to summon more altars and defenders. Oh, look at that, yeah. Dread amount is going up. Okay. Summoning costs dread. Summon two more altars on the bridge to get a steady flow of dread. Okay, I can put them wherever I want. Um, on there. Okay. Is this a timeout as well? Okay. Presumably that's a timeout, because this is 50 and we've got more than that. But I guess you have to wait. There we go. Boom. All right. <laughs> the altars generate dread for you. Now select the skeleton from the bottom. Got it. Ooh. Place it in the middle lane to defend our bridge. You will attack enemies in the same lane. Now is this a, a melee combat? Throws bones at enemies. This is going to be ranged. All right. Good work. Oh, here come the attackers. Don't let them cross the bridge to our home. Okay. We can't see how much damage this, this, this folk has taken right here. 
Keep summoning more defenders and defend our home until the assault is over. Good luck. Okay. I guess I'm on my own now. So this is gonna be the status bar, I suppose. Ooh, that timeout is a little bit slow. So I need to make sure I put them in the right lanes here. All right, all right. I am seeing the plants versus zombies influence, of course, but it is its own thing for sure. This is not the same, uh, the same game, reskinned or anything like that. Okay, that, those that guy's taken care of. This armored friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you can't come in here. No, no. See, no, no. No humans with uh, helmets allowed. It's, it's, it's. We have very strict uh, rules here. Okay, we got another one there. I'm gonna summon another one of these. Since, uh, I want... Well, I suppose I don't really have an issue with not having enough dread. It's just the timeout that's taking a while. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Need one there. Oh, dear. Perhaps I should've, uh... Instead of putting two in the same lane, I should've put another one down here. Although, there hasn't been an enemy down here yet. I've been lucky. But fortunate. Yeah! Right in the face with bones. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Woo! That was close. <laughs> did we do it? We did it! Woohoo! Bridge defense successful! Aw, oh, yes. Nine attackers crushed. Nice! Oh, this is fun. I like it. And the music is so cool. Stanley must go. Okay, you did good work on those knights. Just drop more of those altars in the field and you have extra dread to summon defenders. Yeah, I was doing that, but I had more dread than I needed. It was just the timeout. Very slow. There wasn't many knights attacking this time. Really should be there weren't many knights because it's plural. Oh, the editor in me is coming out. I'm so sorry, my friends. But we should prepare for the worst. Humans just love raiding dungeons. They do. What is it about humans? Why do we love raiding dungeons so much? I've always wondered that about us. Once word gets around that there's a new dungeon discovered here, the so-called heroes will assault us with all their might. Ugh. Dang it. They just don't respect us dungeon dwellers. All they want to do is to steal our precious treasure and slay our monster babies. This is true. And, and, and you know, it's, it's really awful. Anyways, I went and picked up the corpses left in the battlefield from the last fight, removed all the skin from the rotting meat, turned it into this impregnable abomination I call the meat wall. <laughs> it takes a while to hack through, so you have more time to drop some bows at them. Blech. What does drop bows mean? Poof, it means throw bones, of course. Kids these days. Alright. Okay, now check this out. Ta-da! Isn't it a beauty? It's, it's gorgeous. Look at that. I kind of assembled this meat wall in the wrong place and now I can't move it. Well, you gotta assemble- you gotta be careful where you assemble your meat walls. I mean, come on folks, this is basic. Should be placed on the far right. That way it blocks the enemy's movement earlier. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, if you just right-click it to delete it and then release the summon for me. Ah, right-click. Did it. Oh, my summoner sense is tingling. You'd better ready our defenses now. Okay. So we need this. How long do we have, uh, there's not really a timer showing us how long we have to, um... I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of these. Uh, how long we have before we get attacked? Need to know. I don't know how much time I have. There is clearly, alright. Meat. Meat boy! <laughs> Blocks a path, enjoys pain. Oh goodness. Alright. Gonna put you there. I'm gonna wait for enough... Go. Put another altar down. Yeah. Yeah, there's no it doesn't seem like there's any way to see. Oh, that did not last very long at all though. Oh dearie me. Um ooh, okay, I <laughs> I guessed correctly. Put it that in the right, right place. I just kinda wanna like fill up all the lanes with, with my my skele my skele friends. So they're all defended. Who's next? Then I'll start putting walls with whatever leftover I've got. Okay. Ooh. All right. I need one more skeleton down here, and then I can start putting up meat walls. All right. Maybe whenever we get more than one uh, of these enemies in the same lane, we'll throw up a, a meat boy. <laughs> Love that name, meat boy. Simultaneously awesome and horrible at the same time. Love it. Okay. Everything's fine. We're doing well. Man. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know, maybe I'll just keep putting skeletons down as well. I don't know if we actually need the, the meat boy this time. Maybe there'll be more enemies coming soon. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep beefing up my defenses. Okay, still just one per lane there. Go. Oh, I should have. Well, it's fine. It's fine. This is all going very well. All going according to plan. Okay, another skelly there. <laughs> I am enjoying myself. Come on, come on. There we go. Let's start putting up some more meat walls. We've got plenty of dread left. You humans don't stand a chance. <laughs> Wait a minute, you look different, don't you? You had a shield. Ooh. I do wish I could see how much health uh, each thing had, though. I do wish I could see that. But man, the timeout on the Meat Boy is, is real long, isn't it? Alright, we're doing fine. Oh yeah, see there's two there this time. I put that I put that Meat Boy in a good spot. I think. Come on, Meat Boy! Wake up! These timeouts are a killer! Come on, come on, come on! There's a shield right there. I need to stop this one. Come on, come on. There it is. Boop. Now you can't come. I mean, I don't think I was too much at risk. I'm oh my goodness. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one right there. Meat Boy! Oh no! I don't think I'm going to get Meat Boy in time. Oh, maybe I will, maybe I will. Come on. I put just another skeleton there, but... I want to use my Meat Boy. I have a new tool. Come on, come on. Boom! Whew! I can unsummon this, right? Yeah, and then I can put the skeleton boy there. My skeleton friends. I shouldn't say skeleton boy. It's kind of hard to tell the gender of a skeleton if you're not a if you're not an expert. I did it! Bridge defense successful. Twenty four attackers crushed this time. Well done, well done, my legions of bones. Okay, okay, now they're bringing knights with shields to the fight. And did you see that huge brute at the end? I did. Yeah, no, I noticed that. I did notice. <laughs> I saw you handle those shield guys pretty well. You just gotta pound them with enough bones to break the shield. Right. That didn't really work with the big guy, let me think. Well, I mean, it did. I just had four skeletons up against them. Hmm. Hmm. Sound of a lonely gear turning. Ah, that's it. He obviously skips leg days. <laughs> what if you attack those skinny legs of his? They look quite weak compared to his upper body. Ooh, how you ask? It's simple. Just bark at those boneheads to throw low. Let me show you. Please do. Can control defenders' tactics in a lane by la lane by lane basis with the tactics wheel. Open the tactics wheel by holding left click on the highlighted lane. Ah, move your mouse over the throw low slice on the left and let go of the mouse button. Ah, oh, they crouched down. Look at that. Nice work, Rod Phase. It's that easy to select the tactic for a single lane. You see those slav? I'm not sure what that means. Squatting skellies. This lane's. Skeletons are now in low attack mode. Low attacks do more damage to the big brutes, but less damage against knights. Oh yes, he did skip leg day, look at that. Crit. Critical hits. Yes, you can use tactics to counter specific enemies. You can also switch tactics for all lanes at once by holding down shift while selecting a tactic. Switch all lanes back to attack high mode by holding down shift while selecting a tactic. Right, holding shift. High. Did it. That's my boy. Hey, I'm not a boy. Excuse me. How dare. How dare you, spider with a hat. One more tip. Some humans are so small that only low attacks can reach them. Aha, uh -huh, they're like half-mans. Or like human. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's not a good joke. That's a bad pun. No, don't do it. So, switch tactics accordingly. Okay, catch you later. I'm gonna go train my legs now. <laughs> we have eight legs to train. Alright. Level three, skip leg day tactics. Gotta get some dread going. Come on, come on. Those timeouts, I'm telling you. Just gotta wait and wait. Oh, maybe I'm just being impatient. Maybe I should just learn to be more patient. Maybe that's what I should do. Alright. We've got three. Three seems to be a good number to start with. Now let's see where the first one comes. Right there. 
gonna put another one down. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that. Just got a regular one here. Okay, so I've got another one ready. Let's see where the next one comes in. I'm not gonna place it in advance, because otherwise I might not. There we go. Okay, now we'll put that there. Building up the defenses. So we've still got normal, normal humans in metal. Metal-clad humans. Okay. Who's next? Oh, we already got one there. We've got enough to spare. We can do this. But there's that time. Oh, well, I've got enough. I've got enough that I could I could summon a meat boy if I needed to. Block a lane. If one happens to come in that top lane, don't come in the top lane. Oh. Uh, low. Frollo. It's a little one. It's a miniature human. You might even call it a dwarf. You might. I'm just saying you might. Alright, I need to start summoning some meat, meat boys. There we go. Bring you back up. I like how it does slow motion for a moment. It gives you, it gives you a chance to think. Appreciate that. Alright. Beefing up the defenses, beefing up the defenses. Literally! Get it? It's a meat boy. <laughs> okay, now I'm the one making bad puns. Who's next? There we go. You down low. You down low. Okay, so the whole lane goes down low, so that's fine. This lane back up high. We've got this. Ooh, there's some micromanagement to be done here, eh? Could use that meat boy right now, I sure could. How quickly can we take out this beef beefy friend? Well, I say friend. You're not a friend. You're not my friend. Alright, you need to go low. You need to go... Ah. Ooh, so it's a little bit finicky with the holding down the button. And this lid needs to go low. Okay. There we are. Doing fine. Another one there. Oh dear. Made short work of my wall. I'm sorry. I hope this is gonna be enough. You're still low. This one needs to go low now. Oh, I sure could use another another meat wall thing here. Uh, this lane, you need to go back up. Oh, this is a lot to keep track of, friends. <laughs> They're low. They're high. I'll, I'll put everybody back up to high. After they've taken out someone. Uh, go low. And another one there. Okay. Yes, this is all good. Get back up. You guys have a rest. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it, I think. There we go. Something else coming? Probably, huh? Last wave incoming. I'm scared. Put a put a put a, a meat wall up. Oh, the anticipation. Where is it? The meat wall there. You there? All right, this one down. This one up. This one up. This one up, this one up. Everyone up except this one. Here we go. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. My skeleton friends using strategy are taking care of this situation. No trouble at all. Yay! Bridge defense successful! 763 bones flicked. It's good to know. <laughs> it's a useful statistic to have. Alright folks, um, I think... Before we get into the next level, I think I'm actually gonna stop here, mainly because I think we got a sense of the game. There's clearly some strategy. I'm sure there's other units to summon and other other uh, strategies and tactics and things like that. Surely more enemies to fight, but that is the general gist of the game. Um, I like it. I think it's fun, and I'm probably gonna keep on playing it. I don't always manage to find the time to keep on uh, playing games after I've done a review of them, but this one is is definitely this is something that I'll I'll you know pop open for 10 minutes now and then when I just need a break from work or whatever. Uh, good stuff. So thank you very much to uh, Patsui for uh, providing this game and for providing again the uh, the giveaway keys. 
So once more, if you're interested in the game and you want to try for a free copy, uh, just leave a comment below, let me know you're interested in the game, and just tell me, tell me something nice about someone in your life. Put a little bit of extra positivity out there in the world. We could all use it. Just take a moment and think of something positive you got in your life. A person who is, who is good and who makes the world a better place. And just, just give them a little shout out in the comments. That's all you gotta do, and I will, uh, draw the winners of the free copies of the games this, uh, Thursday. Thursday, the 4th of September. Is that? No, Wednesday. Sorry. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday the 4th of September. Uh, I will draw the winners and I will announce them here. And uh, a few of you will get free copies of the game. And if you don't get a free copy of the game, then you can check it out on its Steam page. I will, of course, put a link in the description. Go and check it out. This is this is a cool one. I like it a lot. Uh, great job from the developers on this one. Thanks so much for watching, folks. And remember, you know, if this just isn't your cup of tea, you're just not interested in this type of gameplay whatsoever, that's all right, my friends, because soon I will be back with another new indie game. And that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.